Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are creating this football poster in Photoshop. Guys, this is France and Argentina final match in Qatar 2022. So who will win the World Cup or which team will win the World Cup? Most of you are saying that it's Messi. Most of you are saying that it's Mbappe. So guys, I created this amazing football poster for you guys. So without wasting my time guys, let's turn off the visibility and let's go back and let's see so okay first of all go to file select new the numbers for the ad board is 4 by 5 set it to inches set the resolution to 300 change the 8 bit to 16 bit maintain the default settings right over here give it a name and click on create okay guys so this is our new ad board right over here after creating the new ad board make sure you open the main folder so first of all, what I did was to import this background on top of my artboard. After importing this background on top of my artboard, what I did next was to add this posterized and black and white effects to my artboard. So to get posterized, what you have to do is to click on the adjustment panel, select posterize and guys, you are good to go. So let's double click on my posterize. And as you can see, I set the levels to 11. That is for the posterize. And with the black and white too, I went to the adjustment panel. And guys, this is black and white. So let's double click on my black and white. These are the... After that, what I did next was to change the blending mode light from normal to soft light. Okay, so after changing it from normal to soft light, the next thing that I did was to bring in my subjects. So the first player is Mbappe and the second player is Messi. Okay, so I realized that the light on Messi is too much in the image. So what I did was to go to the adjustment panel, select brightness and contrast. After selecting brightness and contrast, what I did was to clip it to Messi's image. So you can right click and clip it to Messi's image. So let's right now it's clipped. So let me release and clip it again. Okay, so this is how to do it. Or when you press here, this is how to clip any effects to an image. Okay, so with the brightness, I decrease the brightness to minus 27 so that it can match with Mbappe's image. So guys, this is the before and this is the after. Okay, so after that, what I did next was to add camera raw effects to the players. I went to the filter section, I selected camera raw effects. So let me activate mine and I added some adjustments to my player. So as you can see, guys, this is before and this is the after. Okay, after that, the next thing that I did was to do the same thing for Mbappe. Okay, so this is the after and this is the before. Okay, after that, what I did next was to import this image right on top of my artboard, a stadium image right of my artboard. I created a vector mask for it. I went for the brush too. So let me duplicate this one right over here. And let me delist this and create a vector mask for it. Go for the brush too. Make sure your foreground is set to black and start erasing the parts that you don't like. What you have to do next is to a uh, radar blur to it. So to add a radar blur to the stadium, what you have to do is to go to the filter section. Select blur, choose radar blur. And guys this is what will appear for you after that after setting your amount um, the next thing you have to do is to choose the blur method whether spin or zoom or and the quality to good best and whatever you want to do after that you click on ok so the next thing that i did was to add this cap on top of my adboard so i placed the cap on top of my adboard and what I did was to erase 
the bottom part of the car from this place so that it will be like this from the stadium coming right over here there are several ways of doing this but i prefer i chose this so after that the next thing that i did was to duplicate everything right here so to duplicate it what you have to do is to press ctrl alt shift e and guys this is your duplicate after duplicating it i added smart filters to it so my first smart filter is camera raw filter i went to the filter section i chose camera raw filter or when you press shift ctrl a you it will open camera raw filter for you after that you do your adjustments and guys you are good to go so after the camera raw filter what i did next was to add blur gallery to it so to add a blur gallery what you have to do is to go to the filter section select blur gallery choose tilt shift so with the tilt shift this is what i use for the design so the next thing that i did was to add brightness and contrast so i realized that my work was dark so i added brightness to it so that it will stand out so i went to the adjustment panel selected brightness and i started adjusting the brightness to 8 and i didn't touch the contrast what you have to do is to bring in some test so let me bring this one up a little bit and guys my first test was france my second test was versus and my third test was this one there's more information right here my fourth test was uh okay let me leave my fourth test i'll come and explain it my fifth and sixth test is these very ones right over here so let's take one of the um test and explain the effects so with the argentina with the effects what i used was stroke inner glow outer glow so let's go to the fx right over here you will see the effects right here and choose one that you are good with so double click on the stroke i set the stroke to white color and the size to six pixels after that what i did next was to go to the inner glow i changed the color to black i with the outer glow i changed the spread to 39 percent the size to 24 pixels i set the color to orange and that was it for the argentina color effects right over here okay so the next thing that i did for the final was to um let's go up okay so i added these effects to the final what i did was to double click on the test after typing it okay so after typing after double clicking on the test i came to the advanced blending and i decreased the opacity from 100 percent to zero after decreasing it what i did was to go to the stroke section i increased the strokes to four pixels and the next thing that i did was to come to the drop shadow i increased the size to 62 pixels the spread is at eight percent and the angle is at 91 degrees after that i set the color to white and i set the opacity to 40 percent after that i clicked on ok and i was good to go so after that what i did next was to create a vector max for it after creating the vector max i went for the brush tool and i start painting around this area to get this particular glow um, effects right over here so when you're done you go to the or you press V on your keyboard to select the move to and guys you are good to go so guys thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel like all my videos and share them give this video a hundred likes and guys let me know in the comment section who will win this world cup